Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi, and welcome to part one of the SR Lounge Professional Photoshop Portrait Retouch Series. Now, in this retouch series, we're going to be teaching you guys how to take this original RAW file, this is zeroed out, and turn it into this final Photoshop image. So let me load these up in a comparison so you guys can actually see them side by side. Now, we're not only going to be teaching you guys basically how to do like ACR enhancements, basic tone and color enhancements, we're going to be going through cleaning up blemishes, uh, touching up the eyes, cleaning up the hair, all the different details that it would take to basically prepare this image for professional publications. So we're going to retouch this without cutting any corners. We're going to do everything using the stock functionality of uh, Photoshop. We're not going to use any actions, any skin softening filters, nothing like that. Now professional retouch does take quite a bit of time, but I think you guys are going to learn a lot from this process. So let's get started. We're going to load up our RAW file into uh, ACR, into Adobe Camera Raw. You guys can download this RAW file from the actual article itself in the exercise files. Alright, now ACR has applied some default develop settings to this image already, so let's go through and just make some tweaks. So the first thing I want to do is just pull down my temperature a little bit. Let's go down to about 4400. Uh, now a lot of this, again, it's preferential. I just want to get this image to a basic color corrected state. So you guys want to use your own preference and kind of set it how you like, but this is kind of where I like it. So I'm going to cool it off a little bit. If you want it a little bit warmer, that's fine. We're going to make tweaks on this stuff later on when we kind of make our final adjustments anyway, so it's not a big deal. Uh, just get it kind of close to where you want it to be. Next I'm going to do is add a little bit of recovery just to pull down our highlights. So let's bring it up to about plus 40. I just want to kind of even out some of those highlights on our skin a little bit. Now I want to add just a little bit of fill light to fill in some of the shadows. We can go up to 10 and then add a tiny bit of blacks just for additional contrast. Uh, we're also going to bring down our brightness just a smidge because it's a little bit on the bright side. I'm kind of paying attention really to our skin tones making sure that we're not blowing out or leaving any skin tones too bright. Okay, contrast is fine where it's at. I'm going to raise my clarity just a little bit to plus 20. We're going to add a tiny bit of vibrance as well, just to get a little bit of extra pop in this image, at least in the colors. And we'll leave saturation where it's at. Now one of the things I'm noticing right now is that this image is actually a little bit soft. It looks like it was shot at f2 and we didn't quite nail that focus, so it's a little bit front focused on the hair. Um, but it's close enough, what we can do is just make some uh, sharpening adjustments to kind of fix that. So let's zoom to 100% so that uh, we can kind of do some sharpening and see pixel to pixel preview. Uh, I'm going to go to my detail enhancements panel and then we're going to drag up the sharpening amount and I can take it up pretty high because we misfocused we're going to need to add quite a bit of sharpening. So I'm going to take it up to maybe about plus 100. Let's add a thicker radius and then what I want to do is leave uh, detail somewhat low. I'm going to leave it about 30 uh, just because I don't want to, actually I'm going to pull it down a little bit more. I don't want to enhance too much of the fine detail in the skin. So I want to leave that a little bit lower and I'm also going to bring up my masking to about 20 as well. And what this is going to do is if I hold Alt and click on mask, what you see basically is uh, a mask of what's going to be affected. So at zero, everything in the image is going to be sharpened the same way. As you increase the mask, it's removing fine detail from uh, the mask, uh, from the from the sharpening filter. So basically what's happening is you're only sharpening thicker lines, as you can see, as we get up higher. So I'm going to leave my mask at kind of around 20 as well. I just, if you look basically at that skin, you can see how a lot of the uh, skin areas, the fine detail in the skin is going to be avoided uh, as far as the, the sharpening goes. So at 20 is about good. I think everything else is good. Let's zoom back out just to double check. Yeah, everything else is fine. Let's load this up into Photoshop now by hitting open image. Alright, so we're done with ACR. Let's move on to part two where we're going to start with removing blemishes and any other unflattering skin detail.